Now, I don't give a damn what you have accomplished. I don't care what career you got. I don't care about none of that. Because usually your character is compromised because you choose to procreate with men like this. And when I saw this meme the other day that my friend reposted, I was like, bingo. Nailed it, knocked it right out the park. And the women who have children by guys like this be the ones who do the most hoop hollering and criticizing of me and guys of my ilk. Guys who just are like, how do my boy Organic say in Cali? Wine and cheese brothers. We just basically, we about our money, we about working, minding our business, coming home, relaxing, ain't about the riffraff or the rowdy raw, we ain't about none of that. And when we hold ourselves to wanting something better, we are criticized because more times than likely, More than likely, I don't know why I said more times than likely. More than likely, the woman doing the criticizing, she don't fit the bill. And she knows it. She knows her mistakes are what define her. All our mistakes are what define us. But to actually come out of that mess is how you react and how you readjust. Because if you keep making the same mistakes, you're not learning. You're not coming out of it. But if you made a mistake one time and you still have that mentality, you're still not coming out of it because you still harbor feelings for men like this. Hell, probably still for the same guy who knocked you up. And I'm just saying, nobody is attracted to somebody who wants this type of person and I'm not even trying to be a demon about it or tell myself as something better because everybody's one bad day away from being someone they're not my thing is is that if you know this type of person isn't good for you why can't you let go why can't you wean yourself away why can't you just realize you the one that made the mistake you keep trying and harboring all of this regret and you're trying to get how can I say this you're trying to get um, repents recompense for everything that you feel slighted over from said person And I'm like, you know what? That shit don't work. Because some people are set in their ways and they're going to never change. But then they see the opportunity to exploit you for the sucker you are. And when you are a sucker and you just give chance after chance after chance after chance after chance after chance after chance. chance, All they're going to do is want to get in your pants and your pants and your pants. And you fall for it every time. Sometimes you end up with another surprise in the damn oven. And whose fault is that? It ain't my damn fault. And this is why a lot of dudes don't want to pay for that. A lot of dudes frown on this. And when they frown on it, you start telling him he ain't a real man. A real man would do this. A real man would take care. No, a real man don't take care of another man's children. A real man knows his self-worth. Okay? He knows his self-worth. He knows he deserves better. If he's doing better, he's achieving better, he's trying to get to doing better, he don't need to be boggled down taking care of your mistakes. Your self-improvement has to come from within. Don't wear this arm candy. He's just, you're going to treat him like arm candy. Like, look, I can fuck up too. And look where I can do. I can have a come up. No, it don't work like that. You're not Ciara. But I digress. 
So I'm gonna keep this one brief, cause I'm a fury, I'm here, and now I'm out, peace.